Ready? I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. was truly amazing. Why are explosions so awesome? That's like asking, why are puppies cute? Some things just are. Um, I'm not sure your mom would see it that way. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified how. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I have. I can't believe those days are all over. Jawbreaker. A serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a queer. You're right. Yes! The never ending candy. <laughs> Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. I don't think she'd mean to throw. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie. You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. is getting rid of stuff so much harder than collecting it. Maybe because you're an overly sentimental hoarder? Granted. But I still need some more- Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and- Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. How about these boy band trading cards? 
super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them all makeovers? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? <clears throat> I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Live fast, die young. with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. <coughs> Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for an hour. <coughs> Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever. Neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Kloenstein's okay. Chloe's always preferred imaginary animals to real ones. Well, besides Bongo, of course. Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next month, but... How sick was that show? The sickest. I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it out. <laughs> How about you? Any new moves? Yeah, totally. I've been working on my air guitar. <laughs> Damn, Caulfield. Save something for when it counts. <laughs> All right, back to the junk mines. What are you doing? Adding this to the pile. No freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. Chloe, we haven't played this game in years. And it's missing half the pieces. <laughs> nice try, Max. But you can't erase your shame that easily. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in P.E. though. Mm. That was Awesome. Who else but Chloe could turn cleaning her room into a pyrotechnical adventure? You better not be thinking what I think you are. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that deserves an answer. 
Sorry, chum. That's better. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty cool. I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. How is it? Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for days. What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just... I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I... I hate fake people. You're... Real. Thanks. <clears throat> hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. It's like my own private gallery. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth grade talent show. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. I tried my best to clean this place. I should check in with Chloe now. Or should you? to believe. This room, this house, this town, all in the past now. off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it yourself. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least we tried, right? Right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? 
I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and tell her later. Actually, Chloe, I really have to tell you something. It's... I... Don't know how Holy to... shit! Max, hold that thought. This must have fallen out when I was digging around in here. Do you have any idea what this is? Whatever it is, it looks like it came out of our pirate phase. Your powers of deduction are as strong as ever. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sounded like. Ready to find out? so so ridiculous we still are max we still are okay okay forget everything today we go treasure hunting i think i know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of captain bluebeard our old sketchbook this is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map.
This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it- Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it's the map? If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the drawings? So much for telling Chloe now. <laughs> All she cares about is finding this map. Take that, Rat King.
<clears throat> Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Don't move. This angle is perfect. Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Subject and photographer. You really do it all, Max. <laughs> I try. some crazy puzzle you need the telescope and the amulet which we hid inside a dark cavern aka the attic Ugh. why do we do that to ourselves because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of was <laughs> your attic is still terrifying <laughs> it's been five years max I'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation. It's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate ship. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! I'll find a way to tell Chloe later. If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only Chloe's room has always been home base. It's hard to think this might be the last game we have. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago, but Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. I wonder if I'll ever take this view in again. It seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, I just don't get it. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here so often. Well, I used to. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into it. I don't think I could ever handle a real life murder investigation. Hmm. It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. Low strikes? <laughs> How can that be so cool? Chloe hasn't mentioned a trip. Maybe Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Principal at Blackwell wants to meet with Chloe's parents. I wonder what about. Did Chloe get into a fight? 
She never gets in trouble. I'm glad her dad stood up for her. A voicemail? I wonder if it's still there. Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Aw, oh, Chloe's parents are so cute. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come close. It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. Gotta find that amulet before I meet Chloe out back. Yep. There it is, the dark cavern.
something around here to boost me up. Just need a few more inches. to reach the attic. That should be tall enough. of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet. Uh. Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentimentality from. I remember it took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before time. I think I can squeeze through now.
It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kind of difficult. Yep. I need to move that cooler, but this desk is in the way. Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. I remember this. Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. That's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think they're cute. Keep it moving. Hard to imagine Chloe's dad in college. I wonder what he was like. Maybe there's still some things in there. I guess Chloe's dad went through a hippie phase. Hard to imagine Chloe's dad in college. I wonder what he was like. Long Max Silver's eye patch. This will be perfect. This thing is captured. Check. Yeah. <sighs> this desk's pretty heavy. This thing is empty. I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Got it. 
Nothing can stop the mighty Bluebeard. Chloe Price. My best friend. It's so weird being back in his attic after so long. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you care about. And spiders. Haha! <laughs> I have you now, Skellywag. Man, I'm gonna miss her. Watching me up there, Creeper? You are one of a kind, Chloe Price. What? I'm lucky you're my best friend, that's all. Damn right you are, you mushy weirdo. Did you find the amulet? Awesome. Now get your ass down here, we have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. The dark cavern was no match for ya, eh? Long Max Silver to the rescue. Treasure's sure to be ours, Captain. Bring the amulet over here so I can see. Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. This thing looks so much smaller than I remember. I can't believe Chloe still has it. Actually, after this morning, I can. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's rum for me. Did you drink this? Yar! No, not really. I had to fish an empty bottle from the recycling bin. That's probably for the best. Some pirate you are. Photo bro. Hey, Chloe. Yar. Land ho. Perfect. I've spent so much of my life here. Every little corner is familiar. Comforting. These games we're playing. Buried pirate treasure from our past selves. Is this all selfish of me? Why is this making me feel more guilty about leaving? How am I going? What's up, dude? Bro. Don't you mean, sis? Maybe I meant nerd. 
dork. Punk. Punks are cool. Hello, you see You know what, Max Caulfield? What? Chloe Price. You're the freaking best. That's all. Talk about mushy. Where'd that come from? I was just thinking about how awesome this day is. And how awesome we are. Okay, enough of this shit. There's treasure to be unburying. Yep. Chloe and I have done lots of homework at this table. I guess Chloe's mom comes all the way back here to smoke. Poor Bongo. Chloe took his death so hard. This was a fun experiment. I'm almost surprised we actually managed to grow something. I miss you, buddy. One time, we stuck a bunch of this tape to Chloe's face to make a blue beard. Putting it on was a lot more fun than taking it off. It's not that I don't like the blue. I'm just sad to see the old color go. What do you mean? Oh, what the hell? Oh. I can't wait to see what we're supposed to do with the amulet. All I'm saying is, I've never broken my wrist taking a picture. I'm really gonna miss Price Family Barbecues. Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> the fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. This thing looks so much smaller than I remember. I can't believe Chloe still has it. Actually, after this morning, why it's called a Jolly Roger. How jolly can you be if you're dead? Lighter swing.
the best way to simulate. Wait just a minute. Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot, er, peg, on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain Bluebeard? Grrrr! One amulet, coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes... Ah, damn it. I forget how to make this stay on. Stay here. I think I saw some tape. Thanks, Max. Just some tape left between us and the treasure. Score. One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. If you told me this morning that we'd be spending the day as pirates, I would have thought you were crazy. Yeah, I probably look like a loser, huh? Chloe, you could never be a loser. Even if you tried. Well, yeah. The best friend code requires you say that. It's just... This whole day has made me feel like a little kid again. I can't believe we were eight and nine when we planned this. I can. This tiny kid's head is squeezing the shit out of my head. <laughs> well... Treasures don't find themselves. Lead the way. Avast, matey. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven seas. Well done, fellow scallywag. Just like old times. Huh, Max? Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were gonna be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait. How am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with... something? Here goes nothing. Okay. This drawing is supposed to line up with something. Got it. <laughs> yes! You rock! Where is it? Here? Okay, take a step left. No, wrong way. You said left. Your other left. Go the other way. The other way to my other left? Just go... that way. Perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo.
not what we buried. Um, yeah. What is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. I know. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Aha. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. <laughs> Ahoy there, plank walkers! <laughs> it's me, Buddy Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> By now, you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary, I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed. And always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. <laughs> Har. <laughs> Ugh. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. The Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you were so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine. That was fire. <laughs> How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe. You were really sweet. Oh, man. I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop.
This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. All these memories. Holy crap. It's the end of that comic in Chloe's room. Dr. Clonestein lives. These are awesome. Indeed. A time capsule was... This container looks like it could last a hundred years. Blue pen. We used to read every issue from cover to cover. <laughs> Most of these are pretty far off base. It's so hard to predict the future. Maybe it's better to enjoy the present instead. It actually might be really fun to write letters <clears throat> to Chloe's writing once a week too often. Will I run out of things? It's good to see you, old friend. I guess recording things was so much fun in third grade. Manga might be the one thing where Chloe outnerds me. We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. I love how Polaroid cameras make every photo look a little mis- <coughs> Much better. That was a good week. I used, I always look especially short next to Chloe. These used to make great pirate swords. Goodbye, Vase. Soon you won't have to worry about me knocking you over anymore. Chloe's grandparents live in Idaho now. I guess compared to that, Seattle's not, I wonder if, that's the voicemail Chloe's mom was talking about. She did say she didn't want Chloe to hear it. But if Chloe's in trouble at Blackwell, this might be my only chance to get her to talk about it. There. Now you've got something pretty to look at. You sure were troublesome to find. That's so cool that Chloe's mom is thinking about this. Hey, what if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? Looks like Chloe's a lot more responsible than I am with my allowance. I wonder if I could recreate this photo with Chloe now. Chloe and I have been friends for so long. Maybe I'm worrying too much about this... Chloe and I spilled that wine months ago, but 
I still feel bad about it. Yes. Pose for a photo with that? Okay. Tip your head back and put your arms out. And a really big smile. <laughs> like this? <laughs> it's perfect. Stop moving. Really cute, Chloe. You're not so bad yourself. Hey, hippie. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? Not yet. I was just saying hi. Cool. Oh, this scratch pad is seriously great. Serious? I don't want my parents to hear that. I've never gotten in trouble like this before. They already know. I, um, I saw an email on your parents' computer. Shit. What happened? Something so minor. Her mom is exaggerating. I bet Marissa told her that I... I'm telling you, it's stupid. Come on, you've got to tell me what happened. I'm your best friend. Ma'am, none of this would have happened if I had you around. I wouldn't care what anyone said. Uh, sorry. I don't mean it's your fault. I... Anyway, she wouldn't leave me alone, so I turned up her Bunsen burner in science. Just a little. What? No one got hurt, not even close. You know that I know what I'm doing. Chloe, what do you mean she wouldn't leave you alone? She was making fun of my clothes and calling me a scholarship kid. Is that why you wanted to throw away your hoodie? Don't worry, I'll keep it. That really sucks. I'm sorry. Yeah. Thanks, Max. <coughs> you done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah. I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. Oh, gosh. I really miss Bob. I saw you giving him a flower. It was so sweet. Oh, Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole time. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Mushiness alert. <laughs> Keep it together, Max. I guess 
Now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. We might not be alone again once our parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of the day. You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me to tell her? She's already got enough drama from Blackwell. Max? It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Chloe? Max? I want to tell you something. Okay. I'm, um... My family's moving to Seattle. Really... soon. Hey. In three days, right? What? You knew that? Our parents do talk, you know? But... They said I should be the one to tell you. They still told my parents. I guess Mom and Dad were trying to keep quiet too, but they're bad at hiding anything. Don't look so worried, Max. It's okay. Come on, Dorkmeister. It's not the end of the world. I should have just told you earlier. I feel so stupid. Max, I said it was okay. I was trying to tell you this morning, but... But I totally distracted you with the pirate tape. Success. Seriously? I didn't want this hanging over us all day. Plus, I know you hate this kind of conversation, so... I just left it alone, you know? Come on. I want to spend every minute we have together having fun. We'll keep in touch, okay? And visit, and maybe we'll move back. Who knows? Chill out. We can go to college together. It's gonna be fine. We're Max and Chloe, remember? We're always together. Even when we're not. That's true. Cool. Let's find something fun to do. <laughs> 